fresh waters. Spiritual reflections helping you to grow in faith. Today's session is about preaching the word. The key concept is that we should always be prepared to preach the word. The scripture today is from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 to 5. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. For the time will come when men will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. But you keep your head in all situations, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, discharge all duties of your ministry. As I listen to different preachers in different pulpits today, I hear that there are very good messages and there are very bad ones. There are those who preach the truth and there are those who preach half-truths. There are those who challenge your heart and there are those who tickle your ears. There are preachers who preach the word and there are other preachers who are preaching myths. So what are the myths that are preached in our churches today? One myth is that we can be Christians without repentance or without following Christ. Another is that God is love and we will all be saved in the end. Another popular myth tells people that spirituality results in material blessing. And there are many other myths that are preached from the pulpit today. We must discern whether the preaching is of God or of man. Is the preaching from the Word of God or is it just man's pop psychology? The Apostle Paul had just reminded Timothy of the godlessness that is abounding in the last days. The evil in the end times will bring out many spiritual impostors and much deception. Paul gave hope to Timothy by reminding him of the presence of God and of Jesus Christ, who is coming again to judge and establish his kingdom. It is in this context that Paul gives Timothy the charge to continue to preach the word of God. Timothy was to always be prepared to preach the word of God. It was important to preach the word because of the many myths that are also being preached at the same time. Preaching the word was equated to sound doctrine in this passage, which was rejected by many hearers. Paul understood that it was from the preaching of the word of God that there will be correction, rebuke, encouragement, and instruction. Paul also advised Timothy to be level-headed in all situations, exercising self-control in all things. Timothy was to endure the hardships of serving the Lord, do the work of an evangelist, which was to proclaim the gospel through the word, and to fulfill all duties of his ministry. Paul's main concern in Timothy's ministry was that he would preach the word of truth in the midst of all the surrounding deception. Christians today must always be prepared to preach the word. Many doctrines sound ac acceptable, but they do not come from the Word of God. Believers are challenged to preach the Word. Now, when it comes to preaching, I'm talking about two kinds of preaching. First, there's that preaching from the pulpit that are done usually by pastors and uh, leaders of the church. But then there's a second type of preaching where we just preach the word and it's not behind the pulpit. My mother has preached the word of God everywhere she went, but she has never stepped behind a pulpit. 
whatever kind of preaching that you do, we must preach the Word of God. My prayer for you is that you will always be prepared to preach God's Word and not man's ideas. Just think about it. Are the sermons that you hear a message from God or a message from man? Are you preaching the Word of God to others? Are you always ready to share the Word of God with others? What one thing will you do this week to help you be prepared to share the Word of God? May God bless you in your spiritual journey.